Hey guys, welcome back to Cruiser Man's Inventions. So, um, I've just spent the last couple of days reconfigurating all of these clips and everything, um, changing, changing all of these plugs and stuff, so they're all the right way around, going through all of these bunch of wires. I, I actually have a reverse in here. I have a whole bunch of lighting wires, alarm wires, um, cadence, sensor wires, and all the rest of it meter wires uh, so anyways guys um so this is the alternator i got it all back together again and in the very center i polished and polished it really good and then polyurethaned it and uh so that it didn't get uh weathered out in the rain now as i was just doing this testing i actually blew a battery i was like doing testing and then i put the charger on for a little while and it just so happens these old Remco batteries um, that I put in my boy's scooter, this could have been the actual problem to his scooter, was one of these batteries. This one blew, it started bubbling on the top here, just right over here. And this other one, the other day, oh, last week on the electric cockroach, so that bubbled up. So now there's two Remcos. <laughs> That's uh, 160 bucks right there down the drain. So let's go back to, I opened up all the new batteries, got all my linking plugs, um, hooked it up, let's fire it up. We've got the switch all going. So when I turn the key, it shows me my voltage. And I also pulled this out of, I think it was an oven. And uh, that is my gearbox. So first, second, and third. It's a on off on switch so you can use these for indicators if you wanted to so okay let's start off in first gear right down the bottom and here's the separate mag battery for the switch let's turn that on wow this is getting warm okay here we go guys so let's wrap back the throttle let's have a look oh yeah pretty good all right let's try the Middle gear, stock standard how the controllers come. Here we go. Oh, whoa. Holy. Yep, that's some guts in there now. Whoa. All right, let's try third gear then. This thing is already, I already know it's capable uh, of 63Ks, and this is going to be even more, guys. There we go. You know, as I'm wrapping back the throttle, you can notice the bolts drop. They drop a lot because the batteries need charging up. Here we go. I'll hold it there if I can. Middle gear, low gear. So first, second, third. Wow. Awesome stuff. So yeah, I'll charge those batteries up. They're kind of a little half flat. <clears throat> Yeah, um, so what else can I tell you about that? Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I'm just waiting for my uh, boys to arrive in the next couple of days. So I've been hard out tidying up and stuff and just cleaning up and uh, had to, yeah, yeah, people have been sort of taking up my time and stuff lately. So I've been sort of held back from this project, but I finally got there and everything's all back on track, which is great. And um, so, yeah, what we have here is just 72 volts, guys. Um, that's six of these batteries linked together. Positive at this end and negative way down here. And, yeah, it's powering a 3,000-watt controller um, at 72 volts. And you can up this right up to about 100 volts if you wanted to. Uh, which will give you more range. Better turn that mag battery off. Stop the heating. It is pretty warm. That's a oh, that's a lot of power. I wonder if it's going to last the distance for the electric trike build, guys. This is going to be interesting. I took that 24 volts off the mag battery to stop heating. But yeah, it's a lot of power. It's a lot of power. Um, but yeah, yeah. So during the first test, I tested this out on it, and it worked great, as I already know. And then found out what the problem was, which was a blown battery. Changed it, and yeah, wired up that controller. 
so yeah guys that's a pretty cool test so i hope you all enjoyed that and um yeah i mean it's it's a simple little test but yeah if my camera was a little bit better i could show you what each wire was and how they're labeled and stuff guys but this camera won't really pick it up <clears throat> it's useless but there are tutorials out there on these controllers that will show you you know what everyone's labeled and what they do and stuff a lot of the time when you bridge two of these wires together just join them together that's when it turns on something so <laughs> as you's, you know got one of those you'll know I looked up a lot of stuff but yeah managed to get it all together so i'm gonna carry on with the trike build um but yeah first i gotta clean up i might be off air for a couple of days who knows i got other vids coming up guys <laughs> cool cool see you in the next vid guys cruiser man out